Okay, we're up here for another little jaunt in the snow. The snow's really frozen today. You can see Maggie doesn't have a problem. So we've gotten up here a little ways, maybe a mile, and our traction continuum, all we've done is shift it into low range. I like to do that right off the bat. That's sort of my first stage of the traction continuum I kind of made up. You go into low range, kind of makes things easier on your transmission and it takes your traction control off. There goes the chime. We're gonna go up as far as we can, just in low range and traction control off. We're gonna head up the hill here. See if we can get up further. We're not aired down. No chains. Yet. I don't have any traction now. I just kind of dug in here. So I think what I'm gonna do first is air down. I'm sure I can get out of this if I air down because uh, putting chains on would be a pain. That, that wheel's kind of buried. So I'm gonna put, or just uh, air down here real quick. Get out of this. Yeah, this wheel's pretty dang buried. Wouldn't you know, the valve stem's right there. Just rotate the tire a little bit. Get that up. This turning that differential brake lock should be stopping that other tire from spinning. Let's see what I gotta do to get that. Out. Yep, that worked. Okay. Seems like I just had to give it a little bit more throttle. I could feel the driver's side front brake starting to grab and it started spinning this, but there he's down. There he's down like Okay, got this one aired down to like 14. Let them air them. Well, maybe we'll just air the front ones down see if that'll get us out of here. I'm just curious Since that uh, driver's side front is slipping so bad after airing down. I probably high centered myself because it lowers the Jeep a couple inches, but we'll screw around here. We'll get out of this Okay, I got the front two tires aired down And then this is the driver's side front. We'll see what that does, just for the heck of it. They're down to 14. That doesn't seem to help at all. Okay, let's air down the backs. Okay, I got all four aired down now. Let's see if this will get us out. If it doesn't, then I'll put a uh, chain on this uh, driver's side rear tire that'll probably get us out then then I'll have to put chains on them all but let's see what this does kind of surprised this Wrangler and this freaking Samurai are having a hard time right up here. This doesn't look that bad. Well, that Wrangler gave up. I don't think that guy's a huge uh, guy into four-wheeling, but uh, Samurai got up here 
I aired down. I'm going to pass those guys now. And I'm aired down to like 15. So, but I'm floating nice. The snow's pretty dang deep. That front wheel's just digging itself a hole, so you throw a chain on here, that'd be the easiest thing to do. Should be pretty easy. Putting these chains on in real time, you can see how long it takes to put the chains on. These conian chains doesn't take very long. forward at least spin the tire and see if I can get that tightened up okay that front a little bit I'm sure I could come right out of here because it's kind of buried now let me dig out the front a little bit dig out the front a little bit let's see if we can get out of here now Got it, let's get some more chains on here. Two chains on the back. I'm gonna tighten these up, adjust these, put the chains on the front. So let's go up the hill more. We got all four tires chained up, made it to the top of the hill before we did that. So, but going back down the hill tonight, I really want those chains on because that hill was icy. It'll be pretty treacherous going down it, but I want to go up this road. Nobody's been up here in a while. No tracks on it. And I know this road goes all the way up to a snowmobile track up there a couple miles. So we'll get in some deep snow. I imagine I'll probably get stuck and I'll get to try out my new recovery gear. So let's go up this road. See what happens. 